Now you're familiar with a product called Theracurmin. Yes. Can you talk about how that might be different than other curcumin sub, uh, supplements? Yeah. Most of the research with curcumin has been what's called preclinical research, where it's done in test tube studies mm -hmm. or in animal studies. And what happened when they moved to clinical studies in humans was that they found that it wasn't very well absorbed in humans. So that's been a little bit of a detriment to, to uh, the clinical evolution of curcumin. Uh, so companies have been looking at ways to enhance the absorption of curcumin. And we've seen a steady progression in the evolution and sophistication of these sorts of products. At the pinnacle of sophistication and technology is a product called Theracurmin. This form of curcumin is the most bioavailable and biologically active form. And studies have shown that one capsule of uh, theracurmin containing just 30 milligrams of curcumin in terms of the amount that's absorbed is equal to about 8,000 milligrams of regular curcumin. The reason we do preclinical studies, test tube studies and animal studies, is to determine an effective concentration, uh, how much of the material is necessary to produce the desired effect. Mm -hmm. The shortcoming of curcumin in humans has been that they have not been able to achieve the same concentrations in humans, in our blood, that have been shown to be so effective in all these preclinical studies. Theracurmin overcomes that challenge. It, it is a form of curcumin that is easily absorbed and produces blood levels that are on par with the concentrations that were shown to be so effective in these preclinical studies. Talk about why that's more important, the bioavailability and why it's yeah. better, you know, maybe in this form than just using it as a, as a spice yeah. a lot. Yeah. Well, it's not how much you take of something sometimes mm -hmm. it determines its benefits. It's how much you absorb. And the benefits of theracurmin is you're able to achieve blood levels that far exceed the levels that you would be able to achieve by eating more curry mm -hmm. or drinking turmeric tea or even taking other curcumin supplements. So it really is a major advance and it's the main reason why we're seeing a, a, a second uh, surge of clinical research with curcumin.